Those storms, the wind can be dangerous potentially. And just yesterday, tragically, a tree trimmer was killed in Pasco County while he was working on a home. ABC Action News reporter Eric Waxler spoke with the owner of a tree service tonight about the dangers of the job and what you need to know about tree removal to stay safe and protect your home. If it touches the tree, it'll light it on fire. James Morris says the high voltage lines up top are the most dangerous for his tree trimming crew. I'll be honest, we will not get with those. You know, if we do, how we have to do it is we call the electric company, see if we can shut off the power in the grid for a little bit. The power was not shut off Thursday in Hudson when investigators in Pasco County say a tree trimmer died from electrocution while cutting branches near those power lines. I stopped by the home Friday morning as a junk removal crew took away the brush left behind after the accident scene was cleared. The homeowner didn't want to go on camera but told me the man knocked on his door and offered to trim the trees as he had been doing for others in the neighborhood using a bucket truck. He says he did not ask if the tree trimmer was licensed or for references, and the man appeared to work for himself, not a company. Morris says he understands some people are out there trying to make a living, but tree trimming is one of the most dangerous jobs in the nation. The level of skill we have to bring here, and the knowledge and, and the, the wisdom, you know, that has to, to come over time and some training and, and, and proper dialogue and communication is key. Power companies are usually responsible for cutting down branches near the high voltage lines, but homeowners are responsible for the rest. Morris says you don't have to even touch high voltage lines to get electrocuted. Just being close can be dangerous. He says if you are planning on having trees trimmed, coordinate with your power company and the tree trimming service. He also says it's up to homeowners to research who they hire and make sure they are licensed and qualified. Morris says he's thankful none of his workers have ever been seriously injured. Thank God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Right. Let's keep that going because, yeah. again, I, I don't want to be the owner that has to make that call. In Pasco County, Eric Waxler, ABC Action News.